Oh, surprise, surprise. Second video today. Uh, kind of exhausted now after the bike ride. I'm back home yet. Well, we're at the uh, Griffin House here. Some of these uh, historical places. I can go over and show you the sign. But I couldn't be bothered picking up my bike, which fell. Uh, it's had a bad angle, so. Uh, just taking a break. Gotta ration my smokes now, too, because this is my third last one. I think I need to bring a second pack for the day. Bad plan on my part. Poor plan, really. Yeah, I'm out. Let's head over. Take a look, see what's over here at Griffin House. No relation to Peter Griffin, I, I think. Probably not, so. There's all the information. Built in 1827, this home is associated with black settlement in British North America during the first half of the 19th century. Purchased 1834 by Enerals Griffin, a black immigrant from Virginia. It remained in his family for 154 years. More elaborate than most residences of black settlers in this period and situated within a predominantly Euro-Canadian area rather than an organized refugee community in southwestern Ontario, this house conveys the diversity of the black settler experience. Griffin House is also a rare surviving example of residential vernacular architecture typical of Upper Canada in the early 19th century. Uh, it's a historic sites and monuments, Board of Canada and Parks Canada. So that's the house there. That's the entrance. Some placard here. Modest early 19th century farmhouse, one and a half story Clafford home. I guess that's the half story up there. There's another third entrance. Don't know if you go in, it looks like they've been doing some renovations or something here. Now, paint pad. Try me. Oh, yeah, so you need a pink coat, I guess, to enter that. Oh, it's in a nice area, though. Guess that's the cellar. Probably sealed up. Yeah, sealed up. Griffin House is a historically significant opponent of Van Castle's history. The house and lot were sold in 1834 by George. Hodge Boom to Enerals Griffin, 1794 1878. An African American man who was born in slavery in Virginia. Mr. Griffin and his wife Priscilla, 1795 to 1850, arrived to freedom in Canada in 1828 or 1829, settled in Ancaster, and gave birth to a son, James, in 1833. Significant portion of the original clapboard. Horizontal siding is relatively well preserved because it was later covered with a board and batten. Cladding. The house is small, consisting of a dining room, a living room on the main floor, and two bedrooms on the upper floor. Because the house remained in the possession of Griffin family descendants until its sale in 1988 to the Hamilton Region Conservation Authority, much of the interior had also survived. The Griffin House also stands as a testament to the de determination of the African American men and women who settled in Canada. So, there we go. See the other sides. I don't know. I thought the other side would be in French. Alright, I got a chimney up there too. Pretty sure this door would be locked as well. Oh yeah, there's not even a handle on this one. Ah, I thought it'd be open this time again. For like tourism and that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that side's in French. Well, so enjoy the rest of my smoke and then head home on the bike. Not sure if I'm gonna do yard work later. Uh, depends on how I feel. I definitely need to uh, cool off for a bit. It's a hot one still today, although it's a nice, cool looking shade. So, bye for now, folks.